It's third down now. And EA Sports Madden NFL 10. Let's watch some of the gameplay in this impressive game. The pass is away. Farrier has it. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Not only was that a tremendous interception, but when he got the ball in his hand, he looked like he... This is on PS3 and 360. We're watching the Xbox 360 version. After playing this game, I felt a strong urge to eat a Snickers bar while calling somebody using Sprint. Jeff Reed is good on the point out. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. The first time I turned on this game, the opening screen popped up with Troy Polamalu being showered with confetti playing Public Enemy. That's how you start a game. Before I even get into the football, let's talk about the music, because you know how these EA Sports titles are. I remember playing the old one on the Sega Genesis back in 1990, and each one since then has improved a little bit, and then a lot, and then a little bit, and then a lot, and then a little bit, and here we have EA Madden 10. The Madden series has been around longer than many of you viewers, but not me. I love that Sega Genesis game. The music in the game consists of Beastie Boys, Public Enemy, Alice in Chains, Nirvana, Helmet, Cypress Hill, Pantera, Rage Against the Machine, and more. And it's home to one of the most celebrated franchises in all of sports. We're right off the shores of Lake Michigan, and as always, these Bears fans are ready for some football. Welcome to Chicago. Tom Hammond here, folks, with my partner, Chris Collinsworth. We're looking now, since I am from Pittsburgh, I am required by law to be a Steelers fan. If you're not a Steelers fan here, they deport you. It's true. I usually have one of the highest ranked teams to choose from when picking a hometown team for football and hockey video games. Not so much with baseball. Drop at the 32 yard line. However, if you've ever watched this show before, you know that I am god-awful at sports games, so sadly I do not do the Steelers justice. They are far better than I am at playing as the Steelers. Holy crap, they fit every single letter in Ben Roethlisberger's name on screen at once. That's impressive programming. The Steelers are getting on a bit of a roll here. Nice play calling and good execution. The defense looks a little confused right now. So even though I spend more time playing video games where I shoot zombies or blow up spaceships, I started my franchise season as the Steelers, who would still be the best football team at shooting zombies and blowing up spaceships if they did that. And I found this game to be surprisingly easy to jump in and play, even if you're not an experienced Madden player. Unlike my recent NCAA 10 review, I'm playing against the computer in this one. And most of my games are a sad mixture of interceptions and missed field goals, but I still had fun playing it and found this game to be way more polished than NCAA 10. I don't usually talk about graphics all that much, but there's no question that Madden 10 is visually stunning. And excellent graphics are required for sports games, I'll admit that one, if you're going for realism at least. And while I usually prefer the old, old-school sports titles, they have managed to make this one complicated and fun at the same time. I find the more realistic baseball games get the less fun they become, but this one they've managed to maintain a consistent fun-to-complexity ratio. It could still use zombies. Is this a first down? Here's the measure. The stadium and field details, weather effects, and players look outstanding. Very nice job on the visuals, and the audio is excellent as well. I love the fact you can pick different uniforms for these guys. Now, whether or not you like the fact that they come out with these titles every single year does not change the fact that you get a lot of game for your money. Eric Parton makes the tackle. Just simply power football there, converting on fourth down. There's more details in this game than I can possibly mention during a review, so if you want to learn more, I'll just direct you to EA.com. I will say that after spending a week with EA's G.I. Joe game, my initial reaction on any third down situation was to call in Snake Eyes and Gung Ho to flank the enemy. Here's the throw. 
Poole. Did I just get intercepted again? I thought I edited that out. They do have thousands of new animations. Pro talk, nine-man gang tackles, and fight for the fumble. And more changes and improvements in the franchise mode than you can shake a loaded flamethrower at. See, I still managed to get flamethrowers in here somewhere. Love to run because if the defense is even a little bit lax in their coverage, it's pretty easy to get that one in there. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. I remember Madden from 20 years ago. What's it going to look like 20 years from now? It should be more realistic than real football. It will have better graphics than real life. What is the resolution of real life? Throws it out. Comes down with it. Hill is there on the tackle. It's one of the dangers you bring this. Passes. End zone. Ben Roethlisberger is one of the top. They do get extra points for the realism in this next shot. Here at Invesco Field at Mile High. Open container laws be damned. That better be Iron City in that cup. 